How's it going guys, it's Rage Gamer here and today we're looking at how to actually rank up weapons faster in Black Ops 3. So I hope you guys do enjoy and if you guys obviously do find this useful then please, if you can just click the like button below that would be really helpful, I really appreciate it. And also if you guys want to subscribe for other content for Black Ops 3 when it comes out, uh, then that would be really awesome. There's going to be tons of stuff on my gameplay leading up to Black Ops 3 and even after as well. So yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy it. Now if you want to check out any other videos, any guys or anything, there will be a playlist in the description with all the Black Ops 3 stuff. And if you've got any tips or any guys for any videos, or sorry, if you've got any suggestions, suggestions for videos uh, for what to do next because it's in, we're in the beta stages right now then please leave them below before it's too late because I would really appreciate it thanks guys but um yeah we're going to be talking about how to actually rank up weapons faster so what you have to know is for anyone watching this after the beta's come out and after the game's already come out the things will change slightly but I'm going to be talking about it in general so for the beta the main thing you have to realize is that weapon XP is different from uh, normal XP Normal XP you just get from you know challenges, from killing people, from you know capturing flags, from doing any objective stuff, uh, from anything, and you even get bonus XP for finishing the match and it, tons of other things. For weapon XP, it works slightly different. Weapon XP is basically XP you get from using your weapon. And there's there's two main ways you get this. The first one is obviously killing enemies, and the second one is actually un, you know completing challenges. Um, that can be things like, you know, using a certain attachment for, I don't know, say, 15 kills with something, or, you know, 15 kills with something else. Just basically, when the actual Black Ops 3 game comes out, you'll be able to use the challenges to actually get more weapon XP. But unfortunately, we like I said, we're in the beta stages right now, so there aren't really any challenges, so you can't use those challenges, and so you can't we uh, rank up your weapon faster. Uh, just a quick side note, obviously... Ranking your weapons important, you can unlock attachments and other stuff, and optics, and these will be very useful for you because that means that you can do better in game. so you definitely need to, but it's quite slow in the normal way, this is going to help you. So like I said, challenges are a big thing, but obviously they haven't come out yet. Uh, and the other thing as well is actually killing enemies. Now, in terms of killing enemies, obviously, if you need to kill you know, lots of enemies, then obviously more enemies in a single match is better, so what better way to do that than free for all? So that's absolutely great, that's what I'm going to be doing when Black Ops 3 comes out. Unfortunately, like I said, in a beta stage, so we don't have free for all. What we do have, however, is Team Deathmatch. I really like using Team Deathmatch, uh, it's an awesome game mode, and it just, you know, it's perfect. There's lots of enemies around, and it's just really, really good for getting lots of kills because you know you've got 6v6 whereas uh, that's the closest you're going to get the only other game mode I would suggest is kill confirmed because at the same time it's like it t it's team deathmatch but it's slightly it lasts for longer so you can get more kills because you have to collect uh, tags and tags are more difficult to get than kills so you know you can see why I'm going here so kill confirmed and team deathmatch are excellent game modes in the beta because you can get as many kills as possible so now I mean occasionally you might want to switch it up maybe go for some you know I don't know domination or something like that but really kill confirmed and team deathmatch are really my two favorite game modes you get a lot of weapon xp from killing enemies and i would say it wouldn't take you long at all it's really quick you know the first getting to weapon level two and three are really easy getting to level four is quite easy and then it gets slightly more progressive um progressively harder each time but again it's like it's quite easy um just keep playing loads of tdm and kill confirmed and stuff like that and just try and get loads of kills I would say don't worry too much about the objective and stuff worry more about the kills just go for those kills uh, don't equip a secondary if because you don't really need one if you die so what you know but if you got the kill with that secondary and didn't die then what's the point because you don't want the secondary to get the XP you want your primary to get the XP or whatever weapon you're trying to level up now the same goes for things like grenades and, and other things so I mean obviously you can attach them but I kind of feel it's a bit pointless because why would you you know you can attach grenades they are useful of course to keep you alive but it's like if you're concentrating on getting your weapon leveled up why are you bothering with other stuff so grenades are useful but I'm just saying it's kind of a bit pointless if you overuse them you know um, I'm talking about overusing things specialists now they are useful but I would say in terms of actually leveling up your weapon don't go for one of the weapon abilities go for one of the actual uh, specialist abilities because that means it can actually help you on your way to getting more kills you know things like I don't know um, overdrive or the kinetic armor something like that would be really good it's gonna be really useful whereas or you know the vision vision pulse I think it's called but things like the sparrow or the tempest they're not useful because you're getting kills with this special weapon and that's not what you want you want kills with the weapon you're trying to level up so um, just to recap TDM and kill confirmed great there's lots of enemies you can get lots of kills and lots of weapon XP it's very very good um, when Black Ops 3 actually comes out you can unlock challenges and each time you unlock challenges by either, I think unlocking attachments 
us, um, gives you XP just by itself. But also, if you use the attachments for a certain amount of time or doing a certain amount of thing or you know complete some kind of challenge with these attachments, you can get extra XP for your weapon, which is really really useful. At some point in the future, I assume Black Ops 3 will have double weapon XP, but that won't be for a while. And uh, but like I say, Free for All is going to be a really really good game mode for this when it comes out, but it hasn't come out yet. So I hope you guys have found this useful. If you did, make sure you subscribe for more Call of Duty stuff, and if you guys want to leave a like just to show you found this useful, then I would really appreciate that. But thanks guys, and I'll see you guys next time.